Volcanoes are some of the most powerful and destructive force on Earth. They have fascinated people for thousands of years and continue to intrigue scientists today. However, studying volcanoes from inside is a dangerous and difficult task that requires careful planning and specialized equipment. To understand how scientists study active volcanoes from inside, we first need to understand the tools and techniques they use to analyze samples collected from the volcanoes. In a laboratory like this, scientists can examine samples of rock, ash and gas to gain insights into the volcano's behavior. One way scientists study active volcanoes is by descending into the crater. They use a protective gear specialized and designed to withstand the harsh conditions inside a volcano. One of the most important pieces of this gear is the heat-resistant suit. These suits are made from materials that can withstand temperatures of over 1000 degrees Celsius. They are often made from a combination of Kevlar, Nomex and carbon fiber, which provide excellent heat resistance while also being lightweight and durable. In addition to the heat-resistant suit, scientists wear a respirator mask to protect their lungs from the toxic gases that are present in volcanic environments. These masks are equipped with filters that can remove harmful particulates from the air, such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. Scientists also wear heavy-duty gloves and boots to protect their hands and feet from the hot and abrasive surface inside the volcano. The gloves are often made from heat-resistant materials like leather or Kevlar, while the boots are reinforced with steel to protect against sharp rocks and other hazards. Another important piece of equipment is the helmet. The helmet protects the head and face from falling debris and ash. It is often made from heat-resistant materials and is equipped with a visor that can protect the eyes from bright light and ash. To communicate with each other while inside the volcano, scientists wear special radios that are designed to work in high temperature environments. These radios are often mounted on the helmet and have a long range so that scientists can stay in touch with each other even if they are far apart. With all that, they can get close enough to collect gas and rock samples that provide critical information about the volcano's behavior. These samples can help scientists understand the chemistry and composition of the magma and gases inside the volcano. Gas samples are particularly important because they can help scientists understand the volcanic activity that may be occurring below the surface. By analyzing the gases, scientists can determine the composition of the magma and predict when an eruption might occur. Scientists also install instruments on the side of the volcano to measure seismic activity, gas emissions and other critical data. These instruments can help predict when an eruption might occur, giving people time to evacuate and prepare. Seismometers are among the most important instruments used to study volcanoes. They measure the vibrations and movements of the ground caused by volcanic activity. This data can help scientists understand the behavior of the magma inside the volcano and predict when an eruption might occur. Gas sensors are also important tools for studying volcanoes. They can detect changes in the composition of the gases released by the volcano, which can indicate changes in the magma below the surface. Remote sensing techniques like satellites can also provide valuable information about volcanic activity. Satellites can monitor changes in the temperature of the volcano, the amount of ash and gas being emitted, and the shape and size of the volcano itself. Of course, Studying volcanoes from inside is extremely dangerous, and scientists always take great care to minimize the risks involved. In many cases, they study volcanoes from a safe distance 
using remote sensing techniques like satellites and gas sensors. Analyzing data collected from volcanoes can take months or even years, but the insights gained can help us better understand the forces that shape our planet and keep us safe. By studying these powerful natural phenomena, scientists can help us prepare for the worst and stay one step ahead of nature's most destructive forces. Now, what about you? Would you have the courage to enter an active volcano for science? Share your thoughts in the comments below and help the growth of this new channel by subscribing to it!